And as the LRA began to move into other countries, Jacob and other Ugandans came to the U.S. to speak on behalf of all people suffering because of Kony. Even though Uganda was relatively safe, they felt compelled to tell the world that Kony was still out there and had to be stopped. I'm here so proud to advocate for the people who are back at home. And this change you're going to make is going to last forever. We built a community around the idea that where you live shouldn't determine whether you live. We were committed to stop Kony and rebuild what he had destroyed. And because we couldn't wait for institutions or governments to step in, we did it ourselves with our time, talent, and money. So we rebuilt schools. The best you can offer a child is by letting them be independent, and that was providing education. We created jobs. I have seen the lives of those who have been hopeless. Now they have hope. And we built an early warning radio network on the front line of the war to protect villages from rebel attacks to update real time what's happening on a war zone 8,000 miles away. All of this was funded by an army of young people who put their money toward their belief in the value of all human life. They gave a few dollars a month of what little they had to a program called TRY and proved that a bunch of littles could make a big difference. And as a result, the unseen became visible. We see these spirits. We heard their cries. This war must end. We will not stop. We will not fear. We will stop. Talk to people from Mexico, from Canada, from every other state that I can think of. We're all doing this for the exact same reason, and we're all coming from completely different places. This is what the world should be like. So with hundreds of thousands of people with us, we went back to Washington, D.C., and we met with congressmen and senators one by one on both sides, Republicans, Democrats, and they all agreed with us. Joseph Kony's crimes had to be stopped. Of all the problems that are out there, none is more severe than one that, that mutilates and takes the lives of little kids. These young members of the Invisible Children Organization know that no child should live in fear of being abducted or killed. So they were determined to become their voice. They realized that these African children and families were invisible to Washington policymakers so they decided to make them visible. And what I was told would never happen suddenly became possible. In furtherance of the Congress's stated policy, I have authorized a small number of US forces to deploy to Central Africa to provide assistance to regional forces that are working toward the removal of Joseph Kony from the battlefield. Sincerely, Barack Obama. <laughs> The surprise announcement came in a letter from the White House. The U.S. president's decision commits U.S. troops to help. To advice and assistance, not putting Americans into combat, to help the countries of the region end this threat once and for all, then that was a worthwhile investment. We used to think we could not do it, and now when I see we can do it, I am overwhelmed. After eight years of work, the government finally heard us. And in October of 2011, a hundred American advisors were sent into Central Africa to assist the Ugandan army in arresting Kony and stopping the LRA. It was the first time in history that the United States took that kind of action because the people demanded it. Not for self-defense, but because it was right.
We've come so far. But Kony is still out there. He's recently changed his tactics, making it even more difficult to capture him. And international support could be removed at any time. If we take the pressure off, if we're not successful, he is going to be growing his numbers. People forget, and, and you've got to remind him, and it takes numbers to remind him. And if interest wanes, then uh, it'll, just, it'll go away. And I'd end up standing out there alone trying to do something to uh, support completing the mission. It's, it's got to be 2012. It's not bad for the youth, it's bad for the world if we fail. It's not important just for Ugandan people, it's important for everyone. It's hard to look back on some parts of human history because when we heard about injustice, we cared, but we didn't know what to do. Too often, we did nothing. But if we're going to change that, we have to start somewhere. So we're starting here with Joseph Coney because now we know what to do. Here it is. Ready? In order for Kony to be arrested this year, the Ugandan military has to find him. In order to find him, they need the technology and training to track him in the vast jungle. That's where the American advisors come in. But in order for the American advisors to be there, the US government has to deploy them. They've done that, but if the government doesn't believe the people care about arresting Kony, the mission will be canceled. In order for the people to care, they have to know. And they will only know if Kony's name is everywhere. This is the dream. Kony arrested for the abducted children returned home. Here's the biggest problem. Yeah. You want to know what it is? Yeah. Nobody knows who he is. But I know, but I, but I know who he is because I see him on this picture right now. He's not famous. He's invisible. Joseph Coney's invisible. Here is how we're going to make him visible. We are going to make Joseph Coney a household name, not to celebrate him, but to bring his crimes to the light. And we are starting this year, 2012. We are targeting 20 culture makers and 12 policy makers to use their power for good. Let's start with the 20 culture makers. Celebrities, athletes, and billionaires have a loud voice and what they talk about spreads instantly. I want, uh, I'd like uh, indicted war criminals to enjoy the same level of celebrity as me. That seems fair. That's our objective is to just shine a light on it. If our goal is to get Coney's name known, the known should join us. We are targeting 20 of the most diverse and influential culture makers to speak out about Coney and make him famous. Oprah. Mark Zuckerberg. Ryan Seacrest. Bono. Then we're going after policy makers, the ones that have the authority to see Coney captured. They decide if the advisors stay or leave. So we need to remind them that in this election year of fighting and name calling, no matter what side you're on, this is something we can all agree on. If a senator or congressman notices 25 phone calls on any issue, on any given day, it is noted. When citizens by the hundreds of thousands start demanding that our government do something, suddenly it becomes in the national interest of the United States government to, to respond to this problem. We've identified the 12 policymakers that could change the game regarding Coney, so we're targeting them. On our website, we've made it easy to write them directly, call them, meet with them, and get their attention. If my son were kidnapped and forced to kill, it would be all over the news. So we are making Coney world news by redefining the propaganda we see all day, every day that dictates who and what we pay attention to. A lot of people feel powerless to communicate their own. I'm not a corporation. I don't own my own magazine or news station. I, I just don't have any say. But seeing what I've done, I think it's empowered a lot of people to realize that one individual can make an impact. And I actually want to demonize 
say, here are these really simple tools. Go out and rock it. And that's just what we intend to do. Our goal is to change the conversation of our culture and get people to ask, who is Joseph Coney? We have printed hundreds of thousands of posters, stickers, yard signs, and flyers that are right now, today, being put up in major cities all over the world. We have thousands of Coney 2012 bracelets that we want everyone to wear this year only. Each bracelet has a unique ID number. Input that number and you enter the mission to make Coney famous. You can geotag your posters and track your impact in real time. Everything you need is in a box called the Action Kit. It has two bracelets, one for you and one to give away. And if you want to help fund our life-saving programs, donate a few dollars a month through Try, and you can have the Action Kit for free. Start making Coney famous today, but all of these efforts will culminate on one day, April 20th, when we cover the night. This is the day when we will meet at sundown and blanket every street in every city till the sun comes up. We will be smart and we will be thorough. The rest of the world will go to bed Friday night and wake up to hundreds of thousands of posters demanding justice on every corner. It's always been that the decisions made by the few with the money and the power dictated the priorities of their government and the stories in the media. They determine the lives and the opportunities of their citizens. But now there is something bigger than that. The people of the world see each other and can protect each other. It's turning the system upside down and it changes everything. We are living in a new world, Facebook world, in which 750 million people share ideas, not thinking in borders. It's a global community bigger than US. Joseph Coney was committing crimes for 20 years, and no one cared. We care. We have reached a crucial time in history where what we do or don't do right now will affect every generation to come. Arresting Joseph Kony will prove that the world we live in has new rules, that the technology that has brought our planet together is allowing us to respond to the problems of our friends. When it ends finally by bringing Kony justice, it should be celebrated like worldwide. We are not just studying human history, we are shaping it. At the end of my life, I want to say that the world we've left behind is one that Gavin can be proud of, a place that doesn't allow Joseph Coney's and child soldiers, a place where children, no matter where they live, have a childhood free from fear. I'm gonna be like you, Dad. When you grow up? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm gonna come with you to Africa. The better world we want is coming. It's just waiting for us to stop at nothing.